Hey guys, my name is Sorts and if you're new to the channel, hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Today I'm going to show you guys how much I am earning with a £2,300 portfolio and how much dividends I'm making every single month and, you know, every quarter and everything like that. Just in case you guys do have a small portfolio like myself and you can see how much you can potentially be earning as a beginner, you know, starting from the, starting from the bottom and hopefully we can increase this capital and increase how much we earn. So currently we can see that my return is actually 131 pounds and this is a 6% return, which is really, really good. Really, really good. The month of March has been amazing. It's just been amazing in terms of return, but we do have some downfalls. You know, we do have some companies that aren't even, that aren't doing too well at this moment in time. It's quite surprising because the month of March has been extremely insane. But one thing I did notice is there's just some companies that's always gonna, you know, be, be be struggling. So we do have Pfizer, for example, which is kind of struggling. Like I'm down by six percent on Pfizer alone. Healthcare is taking, you know, a lot of beatings at the moment just be due to the um, Rona and everything like that. But you guys on here to look at my portfolio once again. I've already released a video for that earlier. So what you guys want to see is my dividends income. So. This month has been amazing in terms of dividends. It just made me realize how much growth and how far I've come since I actually started this about six months ago. And right here, you can see that just yesterday I received three payments. So in total, I received about 13 payments in the month of March. And today is currently the 18th of March. So we're not actually done with the month yet and I've received about 13 payments, 13 paychecks. So I'm just gonna go through the different paychecks that I, come, that I got this month so you guys can actually see how much I earned just in March alone. So the most recent paycheck is Consolidated Edison and we can currently see that I was paid yesterday and I was paid 51 pence. So just to say, you know, just, just to put this out there, these aren't gonna be insane amount of money. Again, I've only invested about 2,000 pounds. That isn't much at all. This isn't a retirement fund or anything like that. This is a small amount of money, but at the end of the day, all of this is accumulating to quite a large sum of money. So I believe in the month of March, the amount I'm gonna get from dividends about eight pounds or seven pounds something. So that's just a March alone, which is quite good. That's about an hour's work. If you, if you wanna convert it to that, that's certainly enough to pay my phone bill, which is really, really good because I do save a lot on my phone bill. But Consolidated Edison is actually a really, really good stock. This is one that I did some research on about two months ago when I re rent my whole portfolio. And this is one that I kind of fell in love with because it's quite safe. It's, you know, it's good. Everything is, everything just checked the box, you know, it paid good dividends. It was safe enough because I really wanted to focus on investing in safe stocks. I'm not really someone who invests in penny stocks or, you know, flipping or trying to time the market or anything like that. I'm, I don't think I'll be good at it. I haven't tried it. I don't really think I'm going to be good at it. So I'm just going to stick to what I know and stick to what I love because dividends investing just makes me happy. Knowing that I can sleep in peace without worrying about losing a billion pounds, without worrying about losing 90% of my portfolio and everything like that just makes me have a peace of mind. So Walgreens Beats is quite an interesting one. So I received 30 pence from this stock and I only have one share of this. So this is quite interesting simply because this is a stock that I didn't really do too much research on. So I just kind of did a bit of research. I found out it was a safe stock and everything like that, but I really wanted to invest in this simply because it's, it helps me diversify my portfolio. Of course, I wanted to avoid the techs and the energies and all you know those stocks that are really really out there because my portfolio is really going over the 10 percent on the energy and tech and healthcare and things like that so i thought to myself let me get into walgreens i mean it's it kind of falls in line with the rest of them anyway but i just thought boom it sounds nice it seems safe and i just went for it anyway the whole point was that it was safe because at the end of the day if i'm really going to dive into it a stock without doing too much research on it, the one thing it needs to be safe. I'm not gonna dive into anything that I feel like is gonna lose everything in the next two days, most definitely not. Now I have 3M, which is the one company that most of my money is into, about 6% of my whole portfolio is in 3M. Reason being is because I wanted a full share of it and it is on the expensive side. And I received 65 pence this um, in the month of March. So the reason being, the reason it's low is simply because I like to dollar cost average, so I didn't put in a, sum, a large sum of money straight into it. So I think some of the money I put in missed the ex div date. So I do believe in the future I will receive more. So dollar cost average then is pretty much just making sure that I'm putting the money, I'm spreading the amount of investments I'm doing over kind of a long period of time. So what this means is that if I'm to lose any amount of money or if the market is just a crash or something goes wrong, 
my money has been spread around so that way everything's not just gonna tank in one go if that makes any sense but yeah that's pretty much the case just to make sure everything is even safer that's just the whole point of it just to again security security because i do want to sleep in peace i don't want to be panicking about what my money's doing besides for my money just working for me every single day on the 16th of march i now received boom big payment from exxon mobile exxon mobile i love exxon mobile once again i just love exxon mobile simply because everyone hated exxon mobile everyone was saying you know oil and exxon ain't gonna be the one and it's probably gonna die out and everything but exxon mobile was just so cheap and i was thinking to myself with the amount of dividends they pay and it's exxon mobile and it's just out there and everything like that i thought no i'm gonna go into it so i bought two shares of exxon mobile i do have two shares of exxon mobile but i do wish i bought more exxon mobile is one share, one thing i wished i bought more of but my plan was just to make sure i have a share of every single stock so that was my focus at that moment in time and now that i've pretty much done this besides from two companies i'm now gonna start diving into the other stocks that i have very very soon so you guys should subscribe to look out for a video where i'm gonna invest into you know a bunch more stocks probably put like another thousand pounds into it or like you know two thousand something along that line i don't know yet but i can't wait till i get to about ten thousand pounds invested because then i'll begin to earn you know like five pounds and six pounds and seven pounds on each companies and everything like that that's where the fun comes in pretty much so the next company we can see is ibm ibm i also received one pound so for those who've been watching my channel for quite some time now you know that my aim was always to receive my first pound on every single company so we can see that i'm slowly getting there i'm slowly getting there now you know i've been investing for about six months now or well, investing properly for about six months now and we can see that i have a couple pounds coming in now so ibm is also another fun one ibm is a very very old company that i invested into from the beginning so from the get-go when i first started i had ibm i just continue to invest more and more and more into ibm so ibm is definitely one that i'm happy about chevron i received 80 pence from this company and they are paying one dollar ten per share so this isn't too bad again this is getting to that one pound mark that is the aim my aim is also to reach one pound on every single company now johnson and johnson is one that doesn't pay too much the dividend yield is quite low and receives 22 pence but j and j is one that's been paying dividends for very 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 long time longer than i've been born and they've always you know increased the dividend yield increased the dividend payment so it's a very it's on the very 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 safe side i'm gonna leave j and j i'm probably not gonna touch it i'm gonna leave it there i will invest more but what i mean is i'm not gonna sell just because i do believe in j and j i believe in what they do they're a very very big company they do so much and yeah it's actually one that i believe in now on the 15th of march i received the payment from pfizer so this is in the healthcare region they came out with a cure and everything like that. They are currently, it's not doing too well in my portfolio at the moment in time, but I did receive 75 pence from Pfizer and I have um, a holding three shares of Pfizer this moment in time. So Pfizer is another one that I had a lot of faith into. In the reason being is because it's a very cheap stock. Another reason is because they came out with a cure. So I did believe that they're gonna earn a lot of money and hopefully they're gonna reinvest this money and everything into the company. So, Pfizer, am I gonna leave Pfizer? Of course, I'm probably gonna leave. I don't really sell, I hardly sell unless something is really, really going wrong. So I'm gonna leave Pfizer, probably gonna invest even more money. That's the best thing. I always love red days. I love red days simply because red days just sounds like discount days and discount days mean buying days and buying days means more money in the future days. So now we can see even more payments. So I also received payment from Intel, Enbridge and you know, um, Wintz. Wins concern. <laughs> I can't actually say the name of this company. Yeah, I've tried. I don't understand why. It's just me. Ignore me. But I did receive 41 pence from them and I received 21 from Intel and I received 41 pence from Enbridge. So again, these are beautiful, beautiful stocks that I do, you know, cherish and love. Enbridge was one that I invested in a very, very long time ago as well. I owned this company from a very, very long time. Intel was one, you know, they are in the tech sector. Intel is a Intel is an interesting company because they do pay a lot of dividends as well in terms of that their return and everything like that. But Intel is also one that we know dominates that that computer or laptop or you know that tech region because of you know the laptops and they probably you know spread their Intel core and all of that into different laptops and by different companies and everything like that. So Intel is definitely one that I do believe in. Intel is a very very I love tech. I love tech so 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 much. So really and truly, if I could invest all my money into tech. I probably would but i know that's not smart but tech is definitely definitely has a place in my heart and now i do have stag oh this was in february but stag is just another company that pays monthly of course i'm trying to get more monthly paying dividend stocks 
it's kind of hard to find ones that are really really secure right now i have just stag and rotate income these are my monthly payers and i do have some etfs as well in my portfolio i do have some etfs not that much i do plan on getting some more I do have a few ETFs, but I'm definitely going to get more because, you know, S&P 500 isn't fully a dividends ETF or anything like that. So they don't really pay dividends that often. And this is a high yield dividends ETF, but I can't remember even earning that much from them. I think I have. But anyway, yeah, I do plan on getting even more companies. So right here, we can also see my dividend holdings. We can see this isn't completely done. So this is even a lot more than it is right now. I haven't added my whole my whole portfolio into this app yet right now it says i'm holding about 1800 but of course i have 2.2 so eventually when i do add that we're going to see my monthly dividends go up but currently just with this it says my monthly dividend is six pounds 40 which isn't bad at all my phone bill as i always say is, is about eight pounds every single month which is just lovely absolutely lovely so i'm very very close to this when i do add you know the rest of the money in then i might be reaching the eight pounds mark and this is just brilliant so that way i can save money on paying for my phone bill and i can basically move that into investing it every single time so those are you know two more um i haven't added every single company so there might even be more companies to pay me in the month of march but after that then we have a lot more coming in february we can see a lot more payments coming in february um so that's good look out for that video as well i'm gonna go through the changes that might be made or I might actually wait until I invest a bunch more money, then I'll release this video for you guys so you guys can see a massive you know, update and how things have changed in my portfolio. So we're getting closer to that 10,000 pounds mark. But that is all, that's basically an insight into how a beginner or a 2,000 pounds portfolio, how much a 2,000 pounds portfolio is gonna be earning in dividends. We do see a lot of videos out there in YouTube saying 10,000 pounds, 50,000 pounds, 500,000 pounds portfolio. That is the aim, of course, that's what everyone should aim to get to because that's when you're really earning so much money that you can basically live off that amount. But right now, we're currently on 2,000 pounds. Be sure to actually look out for the journey and how this is gonna slowly increase. I plan on increasing this over and over again. I really, really love dividends investing. Thank you guys for being here once again today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy, hopefully you did actually gain some insight or learn how you know the process can be when investing into dividends. Be sure to click on these two videos down here if you do wanna learn more about my journey, or just see more about my journey and how things are or learn more about dividends investing or just growth investing in general. Be sure to take care of yourself and I'll see you next week.